This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed night. Come on, somebody, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Today is day 12 of the 40 day fast. I pray that you are keeping on. I pray that you are continue to fast and pray for real. Come on, somebody, don't fool me now. I better yet, don't fool yourself. Hallelujah. If you see my title, it's called Spirits Are Real. Let me tell you something. And I, I, I don't know how to be fake. All I know is how to be transparent and real. Praise God. Praise God. I don't let anybody just touch me. The Bible says in Timothy, lay hands on no man suddenly. Spirits are real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I want you to I want you to be reminded of the movie Fallen. If you haven't seen that movie, and even if you have, maybe you need to go back and see it. Because Denzel was in the movie. And it was by touch. And, you know, they were just, and then not just by touch. Oh, come on, somebody. The Bible says in Ephesians 6 that we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you have to understand, we are talking about witches, warlocks, um, the elite, reptilians. Come on, somebody. Um, Chaldons. Come on, somebody. Let me tell you something. Spirits transfers. Spirits are real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want to read um, Galatians 517. Praise God. Praise God. Galatians 517. I don't know. Um, I want you to go ahead and share and tag, please. Praise God. All right. So let me go ahead and read this. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And those are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do what the things that you would. Come on, somebody. I'm going to go ahead and read 8 to 18 to. But if ye are led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Let's go ahead and read 19 as well. I mean, Galatians 5, 17, 18, 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lavishness. Let's talk. Let's go ahead to 20. We're going to go ahead and read them all. 20, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. We got to go ahead to 21. Envious, murders. Drunkenness, revilings, as such, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in the past, that these people which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But let's go ahead and read what the fruits of the spirits are. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance. And get such there is no law. Let's go to twenty four. We're gonna read to twenty five. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh, which the affection are in lust. 25. If we live in the spirit, we also us walk in the spirit. 26. Let us be desirous of vainglory. Let us not, I'm sorry, let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. That's so funny because that mixed in, this was the word of God. This actually mixed in with the word that God gave me. The competition spirit. My God, my God. I'm going to say this one more time and i pray that you get it there is nobody that can beat you being you what god have ordained for you no one can do what god have called you to do no one can do because he ordained for you to do it so you don't have to be jealous come on somebody you don't have to be envious come on somebody you ain't gotta be hating come on somebody hallelujah you have to be still and know that he is God. Be obedient. Do what God tell you to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But we're talking about spirits. Spirits are real. That's why I don't hug everybody. I don't care what you say. Hallelujah. I love everybody, but I'm not hugging everybody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Again, look at that movie Fallen with Denzel Washington, please. If you have not looked at it, and even if you have, go back and look at it. Let me tell you something. Spirits are real real and it's so crazy because jesus cast out demons demonic spirits and we have a church today that don't want that to touch him y'all are scared of spirits y'all don't want to talk about spirits as a matter of fact y'all say it's too spiritual let me tell you something there is a difference between spirituality and demonic the spiritual it comes from god above and, and trust me it cannot be just invoked he says those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth come on somebody hallelujah so this this thing gotta be real this is this is this is about having a true form of relationship with god not for no facebook not for no show come on somebody this thing is where nobody's looking 
I can get on my face. When nobody's looking, I can praise God. When nobody's looking, I can go into the throne room. Hallelujah to the Holy of Holies. Not just on the outer court. Too many people are out of court. You know, you, you're doing it in front of people and hallelujah. I mean, I mean, you, you know how to really, but no, no, no. Can you do this by yourself? Can you, can you go in? I'm talking about really go in and get, and not just get a blessing, but get healing, get the peace of God that surpass all understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. Let me tell you something. What's wrong with this world and what's wrong with this church? Most have no peace, said the Lord. You have to have true peace and it comes from God above. Oh, not like the world, he said, because the world, oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. They're going to try to stress you. They're going to try to test you. They're going to try not to bless you. Oh, you heard what I said. But it's something about the peace of God that surpass all understanding. The peace of God will keep you. The peace of God will deliver you. The peace of God will heal you. The peace of God will keep you. Keep you in perfect peace, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Because everything is spirit. Everything is spiritual. People don't understand what I'm saying. Let me go ahead and clarify myself. Everything is spiritual. Everything. Yes, I know we live a carnal life, meaning that, okay, we're here. We got to go to work. You got to do this. You got to do that. But you got to keep God first. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness because we're not that great. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. This stuff is real. And you have to walk in obedience before God. It's not just about fasting. It's not just about just going to church. It is about being the church. Walking in love with your brother and your sister. Forgiving one another. Come on, somebody. Not envying one another. Not in strife. Not lying on one another. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Let me tell you something. This is how you do it. You want to know how to really press in. You get before God. You get in your word. And you just talk to God. A lot of people say, well, I, I, God talk to you every day. Because remember, it's, it's the Trinity. It's three in one. So who is the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost, this Holy Spirit, Father, God, and the Son. They're all one. So every day the Holy Ghost will tell you, don't do this. Don't say this. Go here. Don't do this. Pray. 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 We have a church that don't want to pray no more. Y'all rather be on Facebook. I'm going to tell you, oh, God, I got to go here. I have read that Bible. I don't know how many times. I'm not trying to brag. I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. This generation take more vacations than I've ever seen in the Bible. Oh, let me just go ahead and, and, and I'm going to knock that completely out the ballpark. They ain't never take no vacation in the Bible. Now they have vacation Bible still school. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know it's the truth. We got to go back to doing this for real. This has to be a lifestyle. Oh, come on, somebody. There it is, right? This has to be a lifestyle. This, this can't be just for Facebook and, and, and likes and hearts and PayPal. Me, This got to be real. God, I love you. God, I need you throughout the night. When I'm when, when I can't sleep at night, come on somebody, hallelujah. When I'm worried about bills, come on somebody, hallelujah. When I'm praying for a husband or a wife, come on somebody, hallelujah. When I have pain in my body, come on somebody, hallelujah. When I can't find my child, come on somebody, hallelujah. Do y'all know we got some stuff? And the church is not teaching people how to really pray. Oh, I, and one thing about the world, the world is putting fear, which is false evidence appearing real on purpose, having everybody with fear. And God says, I. Have not given you the spirit of fear, but of power. Notice what he said first. Power. You have power and spiritual authority. Power, love, and a sound mind. Meaning that I don't want no mind-binding demons. You know what mind-binding demons really do? They actually stick their hands. And they do this. And I'm going to go I'm gonna go here. because And some of y'all are going to say whatever. I'm so tired of them talking about mental illness. Can I tell you something? Everything that they dealt with in the Bible, we're dealing with right now. And those were spirits. So y'all going to stop with that foolishness. But don't worry. I understand that's the intelligence. And that's a money maker. So I get it. But Jesus cast out every spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Do you get that as well? So we're talking about spirits. But how can you really, really worship God in the spirit? If you don't know his spirit. If you don't walk in the spirit. If you don't understand the spirit. So let me tell you how you get in the spirit. You got to turn off Facebook sometimes. A lot of times. Let's be real. You going to have to turn off that phone. Oh, come on, somebody. I, I do it all the time. I will turn this phone off in a heartbeat. Then where you at? Where you at? I'm out of commission because I need Jesus. 
I love y'all, but I need Jesus. You can't do me like Jesus. You can't heal me like Jesus. You can't deliver me like Jesus. You can't. Hallelujah. Because it's only in his presence that you are truly healed, delivered. Where the spirit himself ministers to you. Hallelujah. Tells you what to do, what not to do. Gives you answers. Gives you instructions. Hallelujah. That's how you walk in obedience. The word of God. They call it the water. The water of the word. The sword of the word. Because guess what? It cleanses you and cuts you at the same time. Mm. Cleanses and cuts you at the same time. Hallelujah to his name. But so busy, so busy working and so busy on Facebook and everything. Y'all don't even get in your word. That's how you get into the presence of God. By just surrendering. And then the most powerful prayer position is prostrate on your face. Nobody around. You ain't got to. Uh, God said what you do in private, I award you openly. So so don't be trying to be seen. But God, I, I, just, I just love you, God. And, and can I ask you something? Can you just stop asking him for everything? And just get on your face and say, God, I love you. God, I love you. I, if you don't bless me. If you don't do this. If you don't do that. I, 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 I still serve you. Sometimes just love on your God. Hallelujah. And watch what he do for you. Because you didn't ask. See, Solomon knew something. David taught Solomon something very powerful. How to worship God in spirit and in truth. But mostly, he, 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 he said, David was a man after my own heart. That's the key that no, nobody understands. You got to be after God's heart. God, what is it that I can do to please you? And if anything is in my life that's unpleasing, Father God, help me. Help me, help me, help me, help me. So busy. You see, let me tell you something about leaders. It's okay to preach and teach and reach, but examine yourself too. God, is there anything in me? God, show me so I can get that thing right. Send somebody to tell me, God. Come on, somebody. I don't want nobody to tell y'all nothing. Hallelujah. A true leader, we're always being correct. Reproved, rebuked if we have to. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because until you walk in the spirit, you don't have authority in the spirit. I just said something. Until you walk heavy in the spirit, you don't have authority like you think you do. Remember the seven sons of Sceva? Whipped them. Whipped them. Whipped them. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Well, who you be? Who's this woman, Harpo? Who's this man, Harpo? If the spirits don't know you, if demonic forces don't know you straight up like somebody powerful said tonight, you have no authentic anointing. That's the truth. They got to know you. Luke 10, 19, I have given you all authority. Church, where is your authority? Because that's what's missing in this hour. The authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of Jesus. The power of Jesus. I'm talking about dunamis power. I ain't talking about this little stuff that y'all be making up. And people be like, ooh, they powerful. Yeah, they talked a good game, but they didn't walk a good game. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So until you can have authority in the spirit, how can you really subdue demons? That's why the church don't talk about demons. Because so many people are walking in the lust of the flesh. And if you do that, it's a mess. You have no authority. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that you are in bondage again. Hallelujah to his name. So you got to understand what you're dealing with. We're talking about spirits. We're just talking. We're just talking. You got to understand. Get in your word. Pray before God. And fast. And watch God change your life. Watch you walk more in the spirit. You'll have more wisdom. More discernment. More eyesight. Spiritual eyesight. I'm not trying to brag. But ain't nobody could get none past me. And hold on. Let me tell you how powerful God is. If you miss it. He'll wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And say let me talk to you. Let me tell you what's going on. Hallelujah. <laughs> so even if you miss it. The Holy Spirit will wake you up. And say let me tell you the whole matter. Hallelujah to his name. So we got to stay strong in the Lord. So I just want to get up on here. Whew, spirits is real. Spirits is real, people. Be not deceived, God said. And for he is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, you should reap. Count the cost, God says. Count the cost of everything you say and everything you do. You want to get better, not bitter. You want to be anointed and appointed by God. Being appointed and anointed by man, that's okay. But if God didn't ordain it, 
then that means it is not for real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that you are still on the fast. <laughs> somebody said something that made me laugh. Uh, <laughs> but um, those that are still on the fast, I pray that you are strong and, and keep on keeping on. No, it's not easy. Fasting is not easy because it seems like when you're on a fast, everybody want to take you out to dinner. I mean, that you get so many coupons in the mail to your favorite places, you be like, Somebody lying. <laughs> but um, I'm telling you, it's how bad you want it. How bad you want that anointing. How bad you want what you asked for. How bad you want it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because I ain't going to lie. Nothing just happens. You're not going to get what you ain't got. Mm. You're going to you gonna have to work for it. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers, for that is who you are. Mm, let's get it. God bless day 12. Let's get this. Let's do it. <laughs> Have a blessed night. God bless.